Shakes the Clown is a dark comedy set in the community of Palookaville, where clowns are so prevalent they have their own bars. The Twisted Balloon is the party clown hangout, and the Broken Saddle is for rodeo clowns. Party clowns fall in between rodeo clowns and mimes in the masculine hierarchy of this universe. So thorough are the identities of our clowns that we never hear traditional names for them. This includes their manager slash lawyer, Mr. Cheese, with his cartoonish getup. It feels like this movie is primarily drinking and fighting, like Roadhouse meets Baskets. Released in 1991, Shakes the Clown has a strong 80s aesthetic. We see classic party clowns in idyllic suburbia, long before they turned into Disney princesses. At that time, party clowns were in decline, and evil clowns were taking over pop culture. Stephen King's It was published in 1986. Shakes the Clown is not without a villain. Binky is a self-described asshole who is followed by two stooge clowns. He has an oddly disarming pastel palette that is vicious and really into his nose candy. Shakes is our protagonist. When he is working as a party clown, we see his excellent clowning abilities and how popular he is with kids. But he's struggling with alcoholism and cheats on his girlfriend, Judy. Bobcat himself has said in interviews that he got sober at age 19, so there may be some of his experience with addiction in this film. Shakes is a clown community favorite despite his behavior. It's assumed that he will take over the role of host for the local clown TV show. When it's announced that Binky got the job instead, party clowns are shocked. Shakes is a badass too, as any clown in the world truly has to be. We see this play out in the gas station scene where he stares down the attendants after going full clown in the restroom, and while a bluesy song about being a man plays. And we see him arrive at work late, but still he doesn't take shit from the man at the door. Fun fact, this is Adam Sandler's second movie. He plays Dink and delivers what is easily the best line in the film during the clown and mime brawl. And of course, Robin Williams is perfect as the sadistic mime teacher. I suspect that the fictional rivalry between clowns and mimes started with Shakes the Clown, but couldn't find concrete evidence online. Here's a fun clowns versus mimes melee from 2008, where else but San Francisco's Mission District. But I digress. Bobcat Goldthwait wrote, directed, and starred in Shakes the Clown. The character of Shakes comes from Bobcat's stand-up routine, or the voice does, and that slice of the character makes much more sense as Shakes the Clown. I gotta, I gotta explain to you what is going on here! First of all, I don't want to be here! I've never seen another movie or show that so thoroughly commits to a clown community. I'd like to see the universe and characters play in something other than this plot, though Shakes does get his happy ending. The film was a bold move, especially considering how unpopular party clowns had become and didn't get good reviews. I would argue that the film Barfly from 1987, which got significantly better reviews, is similarly alcoholic, grungy, and light on plot, but also way less fun.